to everyone and happy Easter Sunday to all. And today let us all give our praise and worship to our God, the, our God who is a uh, great God. And our Lord give us a new day and a new hope and a new life. And let us also give thanks to our Jesus Christ our Savior, and He saved our life. By shedding His blood on the cross, He took the punishment and He took our sins, and He offered us His righteousness. In 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, God made Him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in Him we might become the righteousness of God. God offers to trade his righteousness for sin, something of immeasurable worth, for something completely worthless. How grateful we should be for his kindness to us. Amen? Amen. And everyone is welcome in this house of the Lord. And our Savior is risen today. Amen. He is alive. Amen. He is alive in our heart. Amen. He is alive in us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. Amen. And I everyone is welcome in this house of the Lord. And today let us give our praise and worship to the Lord. And welcome also to the newcomers. We have newcomers. We are all welcome here, and we have also the birthday celebrant. Let us give this uh, special day to give our special greetings to the birthday celebrant of March. And may I ask the birthday celebrant to come and stand up in the front. March, March. all the March.
kasama ang kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Yes. Panginoon, I am trusting them to you. Yes. Thank you for the life of God. Even kay Ivy and Fanny. At saka buong mahal nila sa buhay kami. Yes. Lord, bless them. Yes. Lord, shower your most precious yes. Amen.
Jesus for the blood of life. Thank you, Jesus, it has saved and washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life, brought me from darkness into glorious light. Thank you, Jesus. And may I ask everybody to please rise up and let us all wait our call to worship. And our call to worship is taken from the book of Psalm 150 verses 1 to 6. And let us all wait together. Praise the Lord. Praise God in the sanctuary. Praise Him in His mighty heavens. Praise Him for His acts of power. Praise Him for His surpassing greatness. Praise Him with the sounds of trumpet. Praise Him with a harp and lyre. Praise Him with a tremble and dancing. Praise Him with the strings of pipe. Praise Him with a clash of cymbals. Praise Him with the sounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Please remain standing and may I call on the praise and worship team to lead us our praise and worship song.
fears for our transgressions. He was crushed by our iniquities. He, the punishment that brought us peace was upon him, and by his wound we are healed. Amen. Amen. Are you healed? Amen. Amen.
speak to us. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for today, O God, for being with us, O God. Lord, karapat dapat lang, Panginoon, ay balik namin sa iyo, God, ang lahat ng pakuri at pasasalamat, pagdakila sa tanging pangalan ng aming Panginoong Jesus, lahat ay magsasabi ng Amen, amen and amen. amen. Let us pray. Our Lord Jesus Christ, you deserve our highest praise. Thank you, dear Lord, for your blood that you save us from our transgression and iniquities. We thank you, dear Lord, because you wash our sins because of our death. Thank you, dear Lord, for everything because you are a God to deserve and a worthy to be praised. I give our honor because you are a living man. Thank you, dear Lord, because you are rise from the dead because of us. And we thank you for the hope because you are a God, a loving God. Your love to us is infinite, eternal. And I know, Lord, that you love us. Thank you, dear Lord, for everything. Bless our congregation, dear Lord, and especially our uh, core officer, and anoint her when she will deliver her message from him on. Thank you, dear Lord, because that word that will be uttered unto her mouth na magbibigay sa amin ng hope, magbibigay sa amin ng kaligtasan sa pamamagitan ng kanyang uh, salita. Panginoon na mabahagi sa amin. So bless her, Lord, and give her strength. And for everyone, dear Lord, give us a blessings and we thank you for all the things. We love you, Lord Jesus.
of these things, and I myself will send upon you what my father has promised. But you must wait in the city until the power from above comes down upon you. Then he, then, then he led them out of the city and far as Bethany, where he raised his hands and blessed them. As the was blessing them, he departed, departed from them and was picking up heaven. They worshipped him and went back into Jerusalem filled with great joy. And the last verse, and they spent all their time in the temple giving thanks to God. Thanks God upon the reading of this word. Thank you. And for our congregational song, let us sing the song glory to his name. And may I ask everyone to please stand and let us express our adoration to our Savior. Amen. And let us sing it joyfully.
Hallelujah. Yes. It's a great privilege for me and honor for me sa oras na ito kung saan ay araw ng muli sa kabuhay ng ating Panginoon. Amen. Buhay pa siya sa ating mga puso. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Napakaganda ang buhay ng ating Panginoon. Ginugulita po natin ang araw na ito. Amen. Matagal na pong buhay ang Panginoon. Hindi po siya patay. Buhay na po siya. At nanaman po siya sa ating mga puso. Amen. 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 Glory to God. At sa araw na ito ay nais kong uh, iharap sa inyo at tanggapin natin ang ating uh, bagong recruit. No? Ako po ay uh, masaya dahil mayroon pong mga anak ng Diyos na nais pa na kukursibido na mag-aral ng kanyang salita. So, sa bawat church po, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na um, membership. At uh, pag-aaral ng doktrina sa isang part na maging isang membro ng isang simbahan. Ba? Sa atin, we have a sword in. But today, hindi po tayo magsasword in, but we will accept those Itong dalawang ito na nais po na mag-aral ng ating doktrina, mag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. Deeper. Amen. Kaya ako po ay nagagalak. Purihin po ang Diyos sa mga buhay nila. Nais po po silang tawagin si, si Joanna ang maging si Elna.
one denies me. You remember that? In Matthew chapter 26, verse 56, we saw that someone who one of his disciples forsook him. Or denied him. They had lost hope to the one who come to redeem them from the course of the Lord. Now, makita natin, you see Peter here was birthed in self-pity and despair. Open that in the, uh, the book of Matthew chapter 26 verse 75 says, Peter says he went out and with bitterly. Bitterly. What is bitterly? Kapain. Yak na yak Peter. Because he was in his fear. As Christians, we are celebrating the most triumphant and victorious day in the history of mankind. Amen? Amen. This is the day that Jesus defeated death and we are his children become victorious. Amen. Amen. So, what can we do again? The death of Jesus and the suffering of Jesus. Now, kung ating po ito nabasa, alam ko po na, na naririnig ninyo ito at dami po natin itong naririnig tuwing Simana Santa, tuwing Resurrection Day, the death and suffering of Jesus Christ. Ating po itong gulitahin, if you can see in chapter 23 and 24, we can find the detail and descriptions of Christ's suffering that Jesus went through on our behalf. That how Jesus suffered and endured on our behalf. So that we can achieve the victory with Jesus. Jesus was betrayed by one of his disciples. He suffered. He suffered an agonizing night in the garden of Gethsemane. He's meditating by fire. He was as one of his most beloved and loyal disciples who denied him in three times. At ito po natin. He loves Peter much. But Peter denied him. Nung dumating ang panahon na siya ako ay pinaparusahan ng mga tao. When he faced the Sunday dream where the chief of press rejected him, Jesus endured the crucifixion and pain of the meal and the cross. He endured for you and for me. In the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 1 to 7, it also gives us a strong account of the suffering that Jesus go through because of the sin of mankind. Because of our sin. The sinfulness of mankind is suffering. Tingnan po natin the purpose of Jesus' death on the cross. Hindi ko na po itong isa-isahin. But tingnan po natin the purpose of the death of Jesus on the cross. When John the Baptist saw Jesus coming toward him, he said, Look! The Lamb of God was taken away the sin of the world. In John chapter 1 verse 29. And also, you can find in 1 John chapter 3 verse 5, it says, You know that he appeared so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. Jesus appeared once for all to put away our sins by giving himself a sacrifice. 
It was at this moment that Christ sacrificed once for many to bring salvation to those who wait for his second coming. Because of the death of Jesus on the cross, there is victory. Amen. Amen. There is victory. The victory that was accomplished to the cross. In the cross. In the cross. When Jesus went to the cross and then rose from the dead, he accomplished a great victory for all people. In this portion of this message, my dear friends, my dear colleagues, we will look at some of the things that he was accomplished for us so that we can understand and know the fullness of the victory he has made available for us. Here we saw the resurrection of Christ was the greatest victory that has ever taken place. Because due to his resurrection, we have delivered away from the punishment of sin. We are delivered from the punishment of sin. In Revelation chapter 1, verse 18 says, if you can open your Bible, sabi niya, I am the living one. Amen. I was dead, and behold, I am alive forever. Amen. I am alive forever and ever, and I hold the key of death and Hades. Death is one of the things that people fear most. Ang kamatayan ay pinakatakutan ng karamihan. Ipugla. But because of Jesus' resurrection and the victory, He accomplished, we have peace in our heart. We have peace in our hearts. We have peace in our mind. We have peace with God. And even hope for the future. Tama po ba? Amen for that? Amen. No sting of death. The Lord God has given us a living hope and an incorruptible inheritance. This is 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 3 to 4. That does not fade away. Reserved, be reserved in heaven for each of one, for each of us. As we set our hope in Jesus Christ and His resurrection, this hope we measure is the powerful element in each of our lives, as it holds us during the time when we are encountered many storms in our life. In Hebrew chapter six, verse nineteen. Hebrew chapter 6 verse 19 this, this hope serves as an anchor of our soul. If we're talking anchor, anchor, ito po yung nag-hold. Di po ba? Kahit baano palakas ang bagyo hindi po maadadala ang bagyo. Tama po ba? The hope, this hope serves as an anchor of our soul. Both sure and steadfast, and which enter the presence behind the veil. We have also the power and victory over the devil. In First John chapter four, verse four, the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Amen. Amen. The victory that we have in the resurrected Christ, my dear friends, say, says, if God is with us, who can be against us? Amen? Amen. If God is in you, no one can against you. Amen. So in all these things, we are more than conquerors through Him who loves us. Amen. We have been given victory over sin.
sin. Romans chapter 8 verse 11 And the spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead is living in you. Is living in you. He who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit who lives in you will also give life to your mortal bodies to his spirit to his spirit who lives in you. Napakaganda ng promesa na muling pakamuhay sa kanya. Amen po ba? Amen. Is God alive in your heart? Amen. Hallelujah. The suffering of Christ in the cross of Calvary, my dear friends of Calvary, bring victory to everyone. The suffering of Christ in the Calvary brings victory to us Amen. and to you. Hallelujah. It brings repentance and forgiveness to everyone who accept Him as Lord and Savior. Friends, we should confess this great victory. We should confess this great victory. The resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as He accomplished for us. We should live no longer with ourselves but to submit, to submit to our Savior who died and rose for us, who died for you. We should never seek those things which are above rather than the things in the world. Remember that the great Easter truth, the great resurrection truth as what, what we have celebrated today is not that we are to live a new life after death, which is not the great things or big things or big death, but we are to live here and now by the power of the resurrection and the message of Christ's resurrection to each and every one of us. Dear friends, my dear comrades, I now encourage you. I have encouraged you today. I have encouraged, encouraged you today to follow Jesus Christ. To follow Jesus Christ, our redeeming Savior, to complete his victory in your lives. In your life. By receiving him truly. By receiving him truly as your Lord and Savior. Not just by work, but by doing it with your actions. By giving yourself 100% to Him for His service. Let me continue. Invite Jesus. Alam ko po na tinatanggap natin si Christo. But how did He start? Please invite him to each and every one of you. Because we are remembering this day. We have the victory. Would you like to allow Christ to complete his victory in your life? You need to act right now. Jesus is waiting for you. Jesus is inviting you. Jesus is waiting for your invitation to him to work in your life. To give victory in your life. He is waiting for you right now. I am inviting you to please bow your head. Again, you need to act right now. You need to act right now as Jesus is waiting. Jesus is waiting for your invitation. For your invitation to Him to work in your life and give victory. Please come.
come and say, Lord, I am inviting you. Lord, I am inviting you right now to work in my life and give victory in my life. Hallelujah. As the song says, the Savior is waiting to enter in your heart. Why don't you let him come in? There's nothing in this world to keep you apart. What is your answer? What is your answer? Come and my
Nation has been brought all praise. the victory 
that the resurrection has and knowing that Jesus is truly the King of all things. Amen. You, you give you praise. We give you praise and worship. We give you praise and honor for your ways and righteousness, Lord. Thank you that your ways are far greater than our ways. Your thoughts are far deeper than our thoughts. Thank you that you have a plan to redeem us. The suffering of Christ, your son, in the cross of Calvary, bring victory to everyone. It brings repentance and forgiveness to everyone who accept you as Lord and Savior. Lord, help us to confess this great victory, the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as He accomplished for us. Help us to live no longer with ourselves, but to submit to you, O Lord, to submit to you, our Savior, who died and rose for us. Help us to seek things which are above rather than the things in the world. Help us to remember that the first great Easter truth was that we have celebrated today is not that we are going to live annually after death, but which is not the greetings for a big death, but we are to live here and now because of the power of the resurrection and the message of Christ's resurrection to each and every one. Lord, release us with your blessings. Release us with your love and protection. We trust to you, dear Heavenly Father, our life today. We trust to you, our life, now and always. And we say, yes, in my name, Jesus, Amen. Amen. Now our benediction found in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 20 to 21, it says, Now may the God of peace, who through the blood of the eternal covenant, broke back from the dead of our Lord Jesus, that the great shepherds of the sheep equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him, to Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Everyone will say, Amen. Amen. Amen.